have indoors and at all attractions regardless of vaccination status. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy your day. Big keys this morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to Universal's Island Adventure. We have bought one park day ticket today, so we decided to pick this park. We're following the crowds right now. I think we're heading to Hagrid's. We'll see. Because we are staying in Endless Summer as well, we do get early entrance into the theme parks. So we're here for 8 o'clock. Hagrid currently isn't open. They just preload the ride and that opens at 9. So we're not waiting around for an hour. And the coaster is open. Let's go and experience this. Literally a walk on for us, and as we got off, it was a um, 35 minute wait, so really, really, really good. Um, it's very efficient, you have, there's lockers inside. Um, we've got one part bag with us today, so we have to split it over two lockers, so you just use your part ticket for that. Um, we've got quite a bit of stuff in it, and it actually fit, but don't bring a big bag, especially don't bring any big camera bags. That was insane. Just entering Hogsmeade. And there's the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> it looks so pretty. And actually, it's that cold this morning. I can imagine it snowed. Some kids doing their tricks with the ones. No doubt a certain little boy will want one of those. Definitely a visit to Honey Dukes. Lots of people everywhere are using their wands, aren't they? Oh, Ollivanders has got a queue over there. So we're going to journey into Hogwarts. Only a 10 minute wait, so let's get on the ride. Just got off Harry Potter's Forbidden Journey. It was actually quite cool. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it's good. A little bit dizzy though, but um, a lot better than I remember from nine years ago. I must have been very sleep deprived with a four month old baby or six month old, however old he was. Um, but yeah, it was really quite cool. I'll definitely do it again and I can't wait to take the kids on. We have just stopped for breakfast. Um, we're at quite noisy around here because we're right by the Hulk. Uh, so right by the Hulk there's a Starbucks and a Cinnabon. Um, I've got Starbucks coffee, standard. And I've got an amazing cinema. I mean, I could not get one. I had to get it. So I'm just going to suck into this, and then probably next we're going to go on the Hulk. Or maybe leave it a few minutes. Heading on to this bad boy. I have not been on this for 
very long time. Probably, in fact, I want to say over 20 years. So we have just got off the Hulk. That was a pretty damn cool ride. It makes you a little bit dizzy again though, but it's really cool. Just remember that you need to put everything in the lockers. David left his phone in his pocket and you are going through metal detectors, so you need to put them in the lockers, which are just by the front. Um, obviously again, still are free if you've got small enough bags. I assume there are some paid lockers if you need them. But everything, because they do go through metal detectors on each of the bigger rides. So they'll find your phone or your GoPro if you've got one. We're going for a wander now to see what else we can see. Obviously we don't know this park very well so we're learning it as we're going. Heading on to Doctor Doom's Freefall, I believe. Yep. There we go. Oh, 20 minute wait. Let's go find the lockers. So David is trying to get me on Popeye's build wrap barges. Not a chance today. Look. It's empty for a reason. It's because it's freezing this morning. The sun is just starting to warm up. You get absolutely drenched on this road. There's no queue time though. Are you going on it? You got to pack a mac. I am not going on this. I am literally just starting to warm up. I'll go on. In July, I'll go on it. Maybe. Are you seriously going on it at the start of the day? I'll go later in the day then. No worst enemy. bike adventure that was very cool i was in the sidecar david got to ride the bike did you enjoy that i did it awesome. was it was really really cool um it was actually a 35 minute wait or 30 minute wait so not too bad the actual area of hogsmeade though is heaving it is so super super busy so we're heading out of hogsmeade and trying to find some lunch i think that's the next stop for us let's see where we find i have no idea where i'm going no idea what i'm doing all new to us this um, universal um, stuff i could do with them um, a guide myself right now let's better get going normally got to watch out for raptors in the uh, bushes instead we've got david i'm not a raptor well try to get the best shot of the velocicoaster finally it's starting to thaw out now the sun is lovely It's bonkers around here. <laughs> yeah, we, got we are just going to try lunch in Cafe 4. Um, see what they've got. They've got pizza slices and meatball subs and Caesar salads. Let's have a look. So we've just stopped in Cafe 4 for some lunch. I've got a pizza slice, um, a Caesar salad, and a Coke. And it's very, very expensive. So what I didn't realize was that the salad didn't actually come with the meal. It was actually a combo. So for my pizza and my Caesar salad, it was $18.59. The Coke was 
Coke was for, well, the Sprite was seven, eight, 98 for two, so just a short of three dollars, just over three dollars, sorry. So I've got pizza slice and a Caesar salad, eighteen dollars and fifty-nine cents. Wowzers. You must know by now for the shop, we stop in it. You want to be a dinosaur explorer? A dinosaur. Paleontologist. I'll try it on. Yeah. Not quite the height you were looking for, though. Let me try it on. How do I look? I look like I'm like a Gestapo trying to hide. Or the mummy. I'm going to get you one of them. Which one? Jurassic Park chest set. Now that's a picture you need on your bedroom wall. <laughs> that is awful. Sorry to all the Jeff Goldblum fans out there. I'll stroke my furry bag. Like you in the morning. Ah. She attaches to your chin. Quite a cool shop if you like um, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. I think we'll have to take Harry back there when we come with him. So we have tried to get on um, Skull Island. I want to say confrontation. I know that's not the right one because that was in Universal Studios when I was about 12. I tried to get on that twice now and both times it's been closed and shut down. It does reopen for periods but we obviously keep missing it. We're going to go head back on Velocicoaster again. It's about 35-40 minute wait. So we're going to put you in the locker and head on into the queue line. Just got off Velocicoaster for the second time and it was amazing. Yeah, it was brilliant. You get so much airtime on that ride, it's just awesome and you feel like you're actually going to fall out of your seat when you're going over the water. I feel nervous when the kids go on it, that's for sure, especially Harry with him being so little. But um, I do need to check the height restrictions for that ride, just to make sure obviously he can go on it. Because we will not be taking him on it if he is just even just a little bit too short. <laughs> I don't want to risk it, because you just really do feel like you're about to fall out of your seat. We're going to see if Pong's open, is it? It is. It's open again now, so 35 minute wait, let's see if it's... 45. Oh, 45 minute wait. I'm not sure it's worth it, I've never been on it. Should we walk around and try? Might as well. Yeah, no doubt we should go by the time we get there, so let's try it anyway. broke down again. Quite a good ride but I think it really depends on where you were sat. We were sat right in the middle um, so it was a bit meh. I get it that parts of it were really good so I'd definitely give it another go especially the kids. But David's just got me on a Dudley Do Right Rip, rip Ride Fall, Rip Saw Falls, sorry. I don't do water rides unless it's blistering heat and I'm absolutely soaked. But David's even worse. trying to dry off got my hoodie on which still got wet in the bag um, just having a wander around the shop as we are walking out of um, Islands of Adventure we have to exit via a shop it's the law
So obviously first of all is Harry Potter stuff. Oh, could have done with that this morning. <laughs> I really, really, really love this, but it's ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. I quite like that. You don't know what that means, do you? It's written on the back. Okay. We've got all the Dr. Seuss stuff. Are you a fan of Cat in the Hat? Like I said before, I have never seen any of them. I've barely even seen the Grinch. I know it's really bad, isn't it? More Jurassic Park stuff. And then the universal things over here. Some of these universal clothes are very cool. From one shop to another, I'm going to the Universal Studios store. Let's see if they've got anything different in here. I must say, I do like Universal Studios clothing. I think it's some of it is a lot nicer than Walt Disney World. That's very controversial for me to say. The it is the mugs. We have fallen in love with these mugs from our shop, from our shop in our hotel. They are very cool. And here they've got all the Simpsons stuff. So they do have some stuff from Islands of Adventure as well as the studios. Not as nice as that other one. Have you got the hint yet? Get you and Harry then. Matching. The hat as well. We've got Jurassic Park stuff again. It is literally the same stuff on repeat though. These are quite cute though. If you get that on for Emily, we don't do matching shirts. Yeah. No purchases made, but it would be rude not to purchase something from this shop. I think when in City Walk, it has to be done. We are back now from dinner. Chili's was really, really nice. Just a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. God, it was so greasy. It wasn't, well, greasy is the wrong word. It was just so heavily fried. I could just do with a nice proper salad right now or something a little bit healthier. But then again, I could have chosen something healthier. Uh, we're back in the room now already. It's half past eight. We're so rock and roll, but we did get up at half six this morning to head to early um, hours or early park entry at Islands of Adventure. Um, didn't really vlog much in Chili's, wasn't appropriate, plus we wanted to just chill out and have a good time together. Two margaritas, that's what I love. Um, buy one, get one free. You don't do that in Disney, that's for sure. Uh, the meal came to about $43, and um, then obviously plus a tip at the end of it. So really good value, so we just had two entrees and two drinks each. But we have got some Voodoo Donuts. Let's have a look at the voodoo donuts. I feel like we need some sexy reveal music. So we only went for three donuts. We've got a voodoo doll, which is that one. We have got what's that called? The I can't remember. Cake cake tart? Tart. Cake. Top. We'll, we'll, we'll insert the name <laughs> and then we've got a glazed donut so that's just basically um, frosting with strawberry jam and that is obviously a voodoo doll it's got raspberry jam in it and just a single original glazed so we are gonna eat those in a minute 
Um, Universal Islands, Universal Islands of Adventure. We had a really, really good day. Um, we felt like we'd finished everything by lunchtime, but we did obviously wait around to go back on Kong, and then we did repeat Velocicoaster again. Um, Harry Potter World, Lewis and the World of Harry Potter in Hogsmeade was heaving. It was so super, super, super busy. I just can't believe how busy it is for January. I don't know what's going on, but I assumed that the parks would be a little bit quieter than they are in the summer. I suppose the ride times showed that they probably were quieter, but that area in Hogsmeade is still as popular as it was when it first opened. Um, the rides were brilliant. Hagrid's is excellent. Velocicoaster is fantastic. Hulk, it was as good as always. I really enjoyed Spider-Man. Doctor Doom's Freefall 1. Apologies if I get the names wrong. Please don't hate me. I'm really not up on my Universal Parks and it's something I'm going to rectify because obviously we're coming back in July. But I did kind of feel like we'd done the parks by lunch. We left about five o'clock and I think that was us done for Islands of Adventure. Would we go back again if it was on the same trip? I suppose if we had the passes. But they need to do a lot more to convince me to dissuade from Disney. But that's just because I absolutely love Disney. Um, I love the vibe, I love the products, I love the characters. That's just me. But we had a great day. I don't want to end on a sour note because we had a fantastic day. The rides are brilliant. I can't fault them. For the big coasters, that is much better than Disney. Also the merch. We obviously went to quite a lot of shops, which took you with us. The merch and the clothing. The clothing is really lovely. It's more adult, more normal. And it was actually really nice. We didn't buy anything, but I would have bought quite a few sweatshirts and t-shirts if I'd have had the funds. This was supposed to be a budget trip. We've pretty much gone over budget already on the merch that we've already bought and the gifts for the kids. Anyway, enough ramble and enough waffle from me. Um, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up for this vlog. Leave any comments down below. What are your thoughts on Universal's Island of Adventure? Um, don't forget to subscribe, ding the bell for notifications and all that good stuff that you're supposed to do for YouTube because it really does help our channel. Um, off to Magic Kingdom in the next vlog. Going home to Disney. Um, so don't forget to tune in next week for that vlog. We'll see you later. Bye!